If you own a Samsung top load washer and it's constantly going off balance, like the tub is banging against the side of the cabinet, or it's not spinning the clothes out very well, or if it's giving you an error code saying that it's having an off balance type situation, you probably need to change your suspension rods. And I'll show you how to do it. If your suspension rod measures about 25 inches and three quarters, then you could probably buy this kit from me. My kit will include all four suspension rods and a pair of gloves so you don't get grease all over your hands. Let's take it apart. Servicing this machine is pretty easy. It basically involves removing the top. To get the top off, we're gonna take three screws off the back and then we're gonna kind of do a lift and pry. You might need a spatula for this. Start by finding the three Phillips screws that look mighty large compared to like the rest of them. And you wanna remove this. So there's one here, there's one on the right side, and then there's this one that holds this little cover on. Once you get those off, you could kind of pull this cover off a little bit and then give it a lift and get it out of the way. And then this top should just kind of lift right up. You'll see that this harness is kind of what's keeping it down, but we just need to get it up a little bit so we could get it off of its top. Start by lifting and get it just past the top and see if you could slide the whole top forward a little bit. This one's gonna require the use of the spatula, so let's get it up front. You wanna get a thin spatula, and what we wanna do is we wanna find, there's two retaining clips, I think they're right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna kinda push down on the top and then push your spatula in and then lift while you're pushing in. It's kinda hard and it takes some getting used to. There we go. All right, so now that the top is basically disconnected, what you want to do is you want to lift it and just kind of rotate it just a little bit, understanding that your wires are still connected in the back here. So that's going to be kind of your rotation point. The top is pretty simple. Just reach down with your gloves on, grab the rod and lift. With your two fingers, or maybe with a grip strength, you'll see that it comes out of this slot. Now this whole side of the tub is going to want to settle down a little bit, and that's okay. Just kind of let it gracefully tilt down. You'll see at the bottom, it's kind of a similar situation. So you're going to let the, you're going to bring the suspension rod down a little bit, and then you're going to remove it. To get the new rod in, you simply just slide it in between the hooks and then pull up and then pull, bring it into the slot and let it go. One down. Three more to go. Once you get to this back seal, it's easier if you just leave the lid kind of at this 45 degree angle and then just lift the washer lid, but be careful so it doesn't tip on you. And then you could change this rear left spring through the, through the lid. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you could always just close the lid and then pick up the whole top of the machine and just pivot the other way so that way you expose the rod. The last one's gonna be the trickiest one. So this is gonna require one more rotation of this top. And this time you're gonna have the top rotated something like that. Now, if you look down on this one, you'll see that there's this plastic clip is kind of clipped on there, but it's really simple. We're just gonna pop it off. You'll also notice that the tube is kind of curled around. And so we're gonna try and recreate that when we put the new rod in. So we're gonna take this one out and then we'll see what we could do about getting it back in the right way. So what you wanna do is you, with one hand, kind of hold the tub and then you just kind of want to fish
fish it through as best you can at least. There you go. So you're gonna get it through the tube, get it down in there, and then lift it back up and pop it in. The very last step is gonna be to put this tab in and click it onto the rod. Once you have all the rods in, now it's time to put the top back on. You wanna lift a little bit You just kind of want to line it up. You want to make sure you line up this pin with this hole. And there's one on the left side also. Once you get everything lined up, just give it a good push. And then give it a little pull. Make sure that the clips are snapped down. And then we're going to put the three screws back on. And there you have it. Now I'm generally really opposed to selling aftermarket appliance parts, but Samsung wants a small fortune for these suspension rods and quite frankly, they're crap. They only last a few years. So why not take your chances with some aftermarket ones? I can't guarantee how long they're gonna last, but even if these only last a few years, at least you didn't pay like $45 a piece for them. Anyways, if you wanna order my kit, I'll have it in the description. Otherwise, just find them at your local appliance parts dealer and just change them yourself following these instructions. Thanks for watching.